but we have to do this. A bucket list goal has been reached. Something that every single one of y'all dreams about. As a kid, I achieved. So I have to share it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hit a fucking Oversize. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I feel too sexy right now. I shouldn't feel this cute. I shouldn't feel this cute. Real Nigga Tales is a fucking... Come on, Aries, come on. Real Nigga Tales is a series based around when I didn't have any money. Why, why, do, I, why do I have these... Why, why, why the fuck do I have these earrings? And I shouldn't have this earrings on. I shouldn't have this necklace on. I shouldn't have this brother. You know what I'm saying? This is this is based around when I didn't have anything. When I didn't have shit. You know what I'm saying? So I got, I got a channel. I got a channel that is a motherfucking own OSN. You know what I'm saying? I got to fuck my... I got to fuck my hair up. No, pretend I don't have a hair. I got to fuck my... You know what I'm saying? I got to fuck my hair. Put on my mouth fucking mouth. Oh, Jersey, nigga, let's talk this shit. I haven't done one of these in so long. I'm actually so hyped. Okay, real nigga tales. Your boy smash the porn star. Wow. And not just, now let me just say this first. Not just any porn. I'm not talking about a girl that's like done one or two porns because she like needed some. No. Oh, I still got my brace. No, I'm not talking about somebody like, I'm talking about a real life motherfucking porn. I'm talking about somebody who has years in this shit. Now, I'm not going to say when this happened. I'm going to say it happened in the last few months. I'm not going to say who because I just don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't kiss and tell. I'm simply doing this for entertainment. Um, But I will say she was white and she was thick as shit. Um, the thickest person I've ever hit in my, okay, not, let me not say person, the thickest girl I ever hit, that's just how it's the thickest girl I ever hit in my life, um, titties huge, just, fuck, just busty, you know what I'm saying, just, just a, a, just a vet, somebody I used to jerk my meat to when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying, so being a kid and being able to, like, hit a porn star is fucking legendary, okay, so let's, let's just, I think that's everything I needed to say as far as, like, the, uh, alright, anyways, let's get started, okay, no takes, let's get it started, okay. So this started, like I said, a few months ago. Not gonna say when, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep that pin strong. Anyways, started a few months ago. Um, um, okay, I'm gonna just be right. Like, this is where I can tell, so I have to say everything that happened. We can't make anything up. We have to tell nothing but the truth and only the truth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so some sometimes I don't slide in DMs a lot. I don't slide in DMs on Twitter really ever, and I don't do it on Instagram that often. Sometimes I do it. Um, I was horny as shit. It was late at night. I was watching porn um, to this porn star. I don't know. Sometimes when I watch porn, I might DM a porn star or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck it. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Okay, so I'm fucking in the bed, fucking just jacked off or about to jack off and to this porn star um, that I hit. And for some reason, I just decided to DM her. Now, since she's a porn star and she likes money... Um, even though I'm not rich at all, I'm not rich. I'm 100% not rich. I don't think I'm rich. I am fucking broke. Trust me. I am, when I tell you I'm broke, I promise you, I am broke. Um, I still DM'd her like, when a rich nigga wants you. That's how I started it off. And then she, <laughs> just, just a fool, you know what I'm saying? Because my face is going to be kind of deceiving. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, so I hit her with that line, right? I was on some horny, freaky, late shit. I don't know. So I hit her with that line. Um, she replies, when a baddie wants you. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, it's lit. Um, I seen in some of her pictures, no, in a lot of her pictures, she tagged that she like lived in California, stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, she probably lives out here. Chances of her being out here are high. You know what I'm saying? Do you live in California? She says, oh yeah, I, I live in fucking blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I was like, okay, are you trying to, are you trying to meet up? And she was like, yeah, sure. And this all happened within like the span of a day. A day, yeah, this happened, like, it was like one, it was like the night that I fucking DM'd her on some morning shit, and then the next day, and then by then it was over with, so anyways, okay, so I got her number, uh, FaceTimed her, 
Um, and she had already said she was trying to hang out. So I was like, yeah, what is your plans looking like today? She said she was free. I was like, okay, cool. We should hang out. Now, this is about 4 o'clock midday. I'm thinking that I'm, like, going to meet up with her around, like, 8 or 9. So I'm just calling her to, like, you know what I'm saying, set the plan straight just to, like, make sure everything's a go. You know what I mean? And then, um, basically, she was, like, fucking, um... She was like, yeah, we can meet up soon. Like, I just left the gym type shit. Like, we can meet up in a few hours type shit. So I'm like, oh, okay, I can meet up with you sooner than I wanted to. I don't give a fuck. So everything is going cool. It's looking like I'm going to have fucking, let me just make sure the video's, okay, I had to make sure the video's. It's looking like I'm going to hit a porn star, you know what I'm saying, for the first time in my life. So I'm getting pretty fucking excited, getting fucking pumped up, you know what I'm saying? This is on the bucket list. This is one of the goals. Okay, so fucking, it's about 6 or 7 o'clock. I hit her up like, yo, I'm getting ready to leave the crib in a second to come pick you up. And then she was like, okay. Okay, what do you want me to wear type shit? And I was like, shit, I don't give a, I don't know why she, I was like, shit, I don't give a fuck, you can wear whatever you want. I don't know, maybe we might get something to eat in the morning. I don't know, you can wear whatever you want. And she was like, oh, you want me to spend the night? And I was like, uh, yeah, because I was trying to fucking hit that shit as many times as possible that night and then hit it again the next morning. The fuck is you talking about? What the fuck? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Get the whole experience, you know what I'm saying? For the culture, simply for the culture. Okay. Um, so, so, so I was like, yeah, I want you to spend the night. And then, um, out of nowhere, she was like, okay, 5K, right? I'm like, whoa, 5K? Keep in mind, it's 7 o'clock, I'm going to pick her up at 8 right and then it's that night and then the morning she's talking about 5k i have never fucking i, I don't what, talking about pain what is she talking i'm like whoa we hadn't had any type of conversation i mean i did say when a rich nigga wants you but i never said i was gonna pay for anything what the fuck is she talking about pay i'm like i know she's a porn star so i guess that's normal but i mean like whoa and and then on top of that 5k hold on 5k for a night nigga that's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money. Who the fuck got f five five thousand? Boy, I can sit courtside twice. <laughs> five thousand dollars is, pay is paying off hella bills. Fucking me. Um. So I'm like, so she texts me that. I'm like, whoa, whoa. As I'm really about to leave the crib, and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is she talking about? Um. So I text her. I'm like, yo. Um, I didn't know you were on that. Like, I thought we were just cool. I finessed it so hard. I got the line my ass. So I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I finessed it so hard. I'm like, yo, I didn't know you were on that. I thought we were just on, like, some cool shit. Like, I thought we were just gonna meet up, you know what I'm saying? And see if there's a bond, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know you were trying to... And then she was like, oh, okay, um, I just wanted to make sure everything was clear because I don't like talking about this in person, blah, blah, blah. So she was like, okay, cool, that's fine. So she agreed we could just, like, meet up and, like, go to a restaurant and get dinner, you know what I mean? And then maybe if she likes me as a person, she might just decide to give me the pussy because I because she's a porn star, so it's not like she's never given pussy up for free, right? So it's not act like you know what I'm saying. So, um, she tried to make me pay, but I'm like, yo, let's just go out to dinner. I'm not paying for anything, like, I even if I wanted to, I could five, th I don't have five thousand dollars. I don't, I don't have that shit. That's that's out of my budget. Fuck okay, so, um, so yeah, so, um, I left the crib, picked her up at her house, she came outside the crib. Oh my, oh, so goddamn thick. Now, in the last year, I shouldn't even say it's been in, okay, in the last few months, <laughs> I've been doing my thing, right? So I didn't hear, I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see some, I didn't talk to, conversated with some pretty thick ones, but she was on another fucking level. She came outside the crib in a dress, and I'm like, Oh my lord, like, she was like in the driveway and her ass was still at the door. <laughs> what is you talking about? She had a lot of, what is you talking about? That motherfucker came out to like, that motherfucker was like this, like, from right here to like back there. What is you talking about? That motherfucker was, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. So she hopped in the binge. She already was like drinking on some shit. I don't know what it is. It was like some energy drink with like some liquor in it. Let me just make sure the recording is still great. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck she was. She was drinking on something, some energy drink. So I'm like, okay, so we just had cool conversation. Blasey, blasey, blah. I don't really remember what the fuck we talk about. Nothing really. Um, I can just tell you guys a little bit about her. So basically she like has been in the industry for like over 10 years, right? So she's a legend in this shit. She's one of the legends. I wouldn't say she She's a top 10, but I would say she's a top, she's a top 25, she's top 25, top 30, top 25, top 30, you know what I'm saying, so she's, so she's got a lot of money, a lot more money than me, like, she has a fucking Wraith, like, she has a BMW M6, she's got cribs, like, all over the country, she's got, like, a fucking store, she's got, like, an agency with, like, 20 of the porn stars working underneath her, so she's got a lot going for it, and I'm like, whoa, 
I just made YouTube videos, and I haven't made one of them bitches in a long time. So I'm like, whoa, she got all this shit going. I'm like, wow. Okay, so anyways, um, so I'm like sort of a little thrown back by that because a lot of the times I'm used to the people that I fuck with to have less clout or less bread than me. So this was a nice change of pace. It was kind of refreshing. Anyway, um, so I break down to him like, yeah, I'm a famous YouTuber or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm like a famous, I guess. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that famous. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Fucking KSI or so, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like something, I guess, whatever. <laughs> So I break that shit down to her. Uh, and then I'm just like so smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just a cool, I'm just a cool ass nigga. Like I just feel like whenever I meet up with a girl in real life, they just don't see the way that I move and be like, yo, this nigga moves different. I fuck with it. Like that's just how I feel. I'm just a cool. So I just hit it with hella cool ass shit now. Um, I forgot my grill at home. And I was trying to impress her, especially after she just explained all of the shit that she just explained. So I went back to the crib, where I'm at right now, um, went to go get my grill. And it was this nice-ass restaurant that I was going to take her to. Um, but we just decided to stay home and drink instead. Like, we were just doing, like, some little warm-up drinking. And I poured her up a lot. And she got drunk to the point where she didn't even really want to go to the club. I mean, to the uh, bar anymore, right? We were never going to go to the club, to the, uh, I mean, to the, to get dinner. It's like a bar, dinner, restaurant place. So she's like, oh, yeah, we don't have to go. You know what I mean? If you don't want to, I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, basically, we were just at my crib turning up, talking about YouTube. I showed her a few of my videos. Um, and, like, she was like, yo, we should make a YouTube video together. And I don't think I'm going to do that now only because of this video, but I might have been able to do like a touch my body challenge or some shit like that with a porn star. Um, so, yeah, I kind of messed up on that. But anyways, um, so we're just watching videos. Cool. Shit, we're getting lit. And it's looking like it's getting kind of late. She's not that. I live in Hollywood. She's not that close to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was a good one. She's not that close to me. She lives like 30 minutes away. Um, and it was pretty late. It was like eight or nine, ten o'clock. So it was looking like she wasn't gonna. She didn't want me to drop her off. Um, so I'm like starting to think like, yo, I'm about to like fuck the shit out of her. Um, first mistake I made of the day. Um, because I was. It was a pretty flawless day. I didn't make any mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I finessed out of not having to pay. You know, it was a good day. Um, first mistake I made. I got too late. Um, I poured us up the same amount to drink. Um, I got a little bit too lit. We were both very, very lit. So we go into the bedroom. It's time for me to finally have sex with a porn star. I'm like, oh my God, I used to fucking jack off to her. And I'm sitting here on the couch, like talking to her. Now I'm about to like have sex with her. I'm like, this shit is going to be fucking legendary. Um, so we get in the bedroom. Uh, I don't know if I should fucking say this, but fuck it, it's a real nigga tail's not enough loaded in front of it, so fuck it. Um, she was trying to make me put on a condom. I didn't know where a condom was at the time. Um, so I'm like, yo, I don't know if I have one. She wasn't going. She was like, yo, you have to find one. I'm like, I don't have one. She hopped out of the bed naked as fuck, grabbed a condom out of her purse, because she's a porn star, of course she has a condom, right? Okay, so she comes back, um, makes me put the condom on. And we had sex with a con. Oh, by the way, I don't really. Okay, never mind. That's completely. I, I don't really like. I'm not a big, super huge fan of con. I mean, I'll use, I use. Normally, I would use condoms, but because this is a porn star and I'm doing this for the culture, right? I want this memory, right? And since she's a porn star, like, she can't have anything, right? Because that's like, they have to make porn. So, like, they can't catch anything. And I don't have anything. So, I'm like, yo, what's the deal, yo? Okay, so, like, you maybe put the condom on, right? So, um,. Before she did that, I got a little bit of top. That was nice. I'm like, yes, porn star top. Let's go. Stick it in. Um, it didn't even feel like I was in there. I have never hit a loose. I have never hit a loose um, vagina. I was going to say, but I've never hit a loose vagina before in my life. So I didn't know what it felt like. But this was the first one that I hit that was loose. Like, I put it in and I'm pretty well endowed. You know what I'm saying? I put it in and like. It didn't feel like anything was in there. And I'm like, yo, am I in there? And I'm like, oh, I am in there. It just doesn't feel like I'm in there. And I'm like, yo, I can last in this motherfucker for hours. What the fuck going on? Okay, so like, I put it in. It was loose as shit. I never felt that before. I was like, okay, that's not what's up. But she's in my bed naked, ridiculously thick. Um, You know what I'm saying? It was like, whatever. 
Um, so basically, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. This is when we ran into a little bit of I had a little bit of problem. Let me just make sure the video was there. Okay, this is when we ran into a little bit of video. Was getting kind of long. Okay, ran into a little bit of problems. Um, it was hard for me to, like, keep it hard, pause, no homo. And the reason I think this was is for, for a few reasons. Number one, I had too much to drink. That's why I mentioned I had too much to drink. So, like, it was kind of hard for me to focus, which it shouldn't be, because this is a porn star that I used to be my me too plenty of times. And, like, no, I'm hitting. So, like, why can I not focus? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's in front of me, like, thicker than anyone ever in my life. Like, why can I not focus? You know what I mean? But I had a little bit too much to drink, so I think it was hard for me to focus. And then a little bit of it was just, like, for some reason, I was a little nervous, right? Because, like, this is a porn star. She's gotten fucked hard. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, like, trying to, like, give my best performance. You know what I'm saying? It's like fucking LeBron going up against the Warriors. It ain't like I'm going up against the Knicks. You know what I mean? I'm going up against them. So I'm trying to come out here with my motherfucking back, like, everything I got. You know what I mean? And, like... I was a little, I got, maybe I was a little nervous, I was a little anxious, I don't know, but it was kind of hard for me to stay hard, which is not a problem I usually ran into, and like, we had to stop, because I couldn't keep it hard, and she was like, it doesn't like me, blah, 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 long story short, we ended up trying again, like, like 20 minutes later, and she let me take off the condom, did it for the culture, I did it for the culture, since then I have gotten checked, I'm still good, I'm clean, no problems, um, just wanted to point that out, but... Um, yeah, I got to take it off, got to hit it, bro, I don't encourage, don't, this is a, this is for entertainment, alright, I want you guys watching to be better, don't use condoms, alright, use them, <laughs> they're good for you, you're supposed to use them, alright, don't be, re don't be reckless like me, this is not the way, alright, anyways, okay, so I got hit it, uh, raw doggy, um, you felt a little bit better, still lose the shit, but like, I laid on the bed, and she, like, fucked me reverse cowgirl, which means, like, she was facing that way, like this, right? So I'm seeing nothing but her amazing ass, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, this is great. So, yeah, I was able to do my, I was able to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, punch in my ticket. Um, I didn't, I didn't come inside of her for, for my freaky motherfuckers out there. No, I'm not that wild. I'm not that, whoa, whoa, we still pull out gang. Pull out gang strong as fuck. Didn't do that. Um, uh, fucking just put it on her fucking booty. Um, so yeah, that was lit. Um, we had some more to drink, chill, talk, watch some more YouTube videos. She told me that she was like thinking about doing a YouTube channel or whatever, YouTube channel, blah, blah, which is like something that like almost every girl that tells me like when I tell them I have a YouTube channel, like, oh, I was talking about that, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, so yeah, we chilled, bored out, um, ended up having more sex. Um, wasn't able to come again, wasn't able to stay hard. Um, and this time she wasn't as like patient or forgiving with me. Um, there was a time when I could have, but I pulled out so like I could go longer, you know what I mean? And like be more impressive, but then I wasn't able to get it. Like I, I so I should have just went in and got it when I had the chance, but I did it and I missed the chance. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. So whatever. She was like, uh, do you want me to catch an Uber home? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. She, like, has, like, a big-ass German Shepherd. She has a fucking, like, fucking, I, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to get too descriptive because then you guys might find her. Um, but, yeah, she has a lot of fucking animals. Um, so, yeah, she was like, you want me to drop me? You want to drop me off? Like, I got to go home and take care of my fucking dog. By this time, it's, like, 2 in the morning. I'm like, nah, I don't want to fucking go. Like, we went somewhere to get something to eat. We just got some pizza real quick. I'm like, yo, I don't want to fucking go anywhere. What the fuck? Um, so, yeah, what ended up happening is I promised her that I would drop her off in the morning around, like, 10 o'clock. We wake up. It's, like, 9 o'clock. I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, okay, it's, like, 8 o'clock. I'm like, okay, I got to wake her up by 9 o'clock so that way I can fuck at least one more time before I drop her off. Wake her up at, like, 9 o'clock. She was not trying to have sex. I tried so hard. I tried hard in the bed, like, in the other room, like, before we left, like, even in the car. Like, it's not too late. Like, you can fuck me in the car. It's big by beans. Um, and it just, I, she just was not going. She was not trying to give it up. Um, so yeah, the way that I put the game down, like I told you guys was like, since the very beginning was on like some, I'm trying to like, like build a relationship. Like I wanted to be my girl type of thing, but like, I, 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 I didn't want that. Like she's I, like, you know what I mean? I was just really saying that. So like maybe potentially I could hit it again. I shouldn't be saying this, but maybe it's rare. I can tell. So we got to keep it real. Um, I was just saying that. So maybe, maybe I could potentially hit it again. Um, so like. 
the next day came and we're like we talked or whatever nothing crazy the day after that came and like we were supposed to like meet up after like some photo shoot or video shoot she had and like she never hit me up and then like she told me she was and she never hit me up it was like on some like fuck you i'm gonna send you off type shit and then the next morning she texted me early as fuck at like 6 a.m talking about like would you like want to help me with my youtube like i'll give you a little bit of money and i'm just like what's fuck you i just wanted to do it for the culture for the story Fuck it, you just trying to make me pay 5k bitch how about that how, how about this how about i don't pay 5k how about i smash how about i make a video off of it and then i make 5k how about that fuck it, you doing? okay so anyway Real nigga tales. It's been a while. Did this for my OG fans. A lot of you guys watching, I was like, yo, why did he upload this on the Cyberson account? Like, he's never done one of the... Yeah, I know. You guys, a lot of you guys probably don't know what this is. It's a series that I used to do when I first started YouTube. Um, haven't done one in a year. I haven't uploaded it in three weeks, so I feel like I had to give y'all some motherfucking heat. You know what I'm saying? I got more heat coming today. This is not the only heat. Yo, get you thought this was the only heat drinking today? It's not. I just wanted to start it off with this. If you enjoyed this, I need you guys to smash the like button, okay? Because I do not do real nigga tales a lot. Right? I do them every now and then. I could do more. If we get a shit ton of likes on this video, I might do more. But because it's such a legendary series, I feel like that I have. I don't just like to do them with like normal stories. Like, yeah, hey, I went to Diana, yeah, I went to London, and nah. You know what I mean? I like to do it for like important shit. You know what I mean? Like really fucking good stories. Um, so, anyways, let's gonna do it. Leave a like, enjoy. Um, the takeover starts now. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I don't even have, I'm not even gonna make it.